oceans. The ocean is a huge body of salt water that covers about 71% of the Earth's surface. The planet has one global ocean. It is called the World Ocean. However, it is divided into five. The deepest part of the ocean is Challenger Deep. The nations of the world have divided the world's ocean into five distinct geographic regions, the Pacific, the Atlantic, the Indian, and the Arctic Oceans. Over the years, oceanographers have determined that the seas around Antarctica deserve their own designation, and they have termed it the Southern Ocean. Ocean Waves Although the oceans cover more than 70% of the Earth, only 20% is visible to us. So, usually, we're able to see the water that is at the surface, and we don't see most of the oceans. The other 80% of the oceans remain below the surface and remains unseen. 97% of the world's water is found in its oceans. The ocean affects temperature, weather, and a food supply for humans and other organisms that live on the earth. 80% of the ocean remains undiscovered, unexplored, and unseen by humans. We don't even have a map of that percentage of the oceans. As far as a greater percentage of the surfaces of the moon and the planet Mars have been mapped and studied than our own ocean floor on Earth. Whilst it remains unknown how many different species call the ocean their habitat or home, it is estimated that ecosystems are suffering from rising sea temperatures, pollution, and other problems. Some oceanographers believe that the number of species is declining However, there may be many positive surprises awaiting oceanographers in the years ahead. It could be that more than 90% of the ocean species are still undiscovered, with some scientists estimating that there are anywhere between a few hundred thousand to a few million more to be discovered. Currently, scientists know of around 226,000 ocean species. But species that reside in the oceans are being discovered every day. In order to learn more about our oceans floor and of course the rest of the oceans in the world, biorobotics is being used to explore under the sea. This is an undersea vehicle that uses legged locomotion, which is basically inspired by the way an octopus moves underwater. The goal of this biorobotics mission is to, is to design robots that can explore the depths of the ocean that humans find it extremely difficult to reach. The ocean is vast. There is a lot of information that remains undiscovered. And oceanographers from all over the world will soon be able to explore and discover Earth's ocean floor. Five oceans cover just over 70% of Earth. They are all connected. The Atlantic Ocean, the Pacific Ocean, the Indian Ocean, the Southern Ocean, and the Arctic Ocean. The nearest ocean to the Caribbean is the Atlantic Ocean. The nearest ocean to the United Kingdom is the Atlantic Ocean as well. The Atlantic Ocean stretches from Europe to North and South America. And of course, it is the second largest of the five oceans. The water that is in the oceans is constantly moving in patterns called currents. Some currents flow quickly, while some move extremely slow. As the currents flow around the planet, 
they move cold and warm water from one place to another. This results in a change in climate and temperatures all over the earth. The United Kingdom would be much colder if it wasn't warmed by waters that travels from the Caribbean called the North Atlantic Drift. Ocean currents help to move things that float on them. This can be sea creatures, ships, but unfortunately this can also be garbage that has been dumped carelessly by humans. This garbage finds its way around the world and pollutes the oceans and this garbage can be very harmful to sea creatures and humans alike who must consume food from the ocean. Some types of garbage such as plastic are eaten by sea creatures. This causes them lots of problems which can lead to catastrophes. As humans on the planet, we need to look after the planet and its oceans by recycling and reducing the plastics that we use. Oceans are contained in enormous basins on the Earth's surface. When viewed from space, the predominance of Earth's oceans is very apparent. The oceans and their marginal seas cover almost 71% of the Earth's surface and they have an average depth of 3,688 meters. The exposed land occupies the remaining 29% of the planetary surface and has a mean elevation of 840 meters. All the elevated land could be hidden under the oceans and earth reduced to a smooth surface that would be completely covered by seawater. This is known as the sphere depth of the ocean and serves to underscore the abundance of water on earth's surface. The earth is similar to our bodies. Our bodies contains 70% water and earth also contains a little bit over 70% water. Planet Earth is a unique planet within the solar system. As a result of its distance from the sun and its period of rotation, we are also in the habitable zone. These characteristics combine to subject the Earth to a solar radiation level that maintains the planet at a mean surface temperature of 14 to 15 degrees Celsius. The temperature allows water to exist on the Earth in all three of its phases, solid, liquid, and gas. The Caribbean countries lies in the Atlantic Ocean. The Atlantic Ocean is a body of salt water which covers approximately one-fifth of the Earth's surface and separates the continents of Europe and Africa to the east from those of North and South America to the west. There are 133 countries and territories bordering the Atlantic Ocean. These include four of the five largest countries in the world. 33 countries are in Europe, 26 are in Africa, 7 are in Asia, 9 in Central and North America, 7 in South America, and 13 in the Caribbean. 11 countries border both the Atlantic and the Pacific Oceans, while South Africa is the only state which coastlines the Atlantic and the Indian Oceans. Waters of the Atlantic and the Pacific converge at Cape Horn, Chile, where the Panama Canal in Central America is a 51 mile long artificial waterway linking both the Pacific and the Atlantic Oceans. 
The Atlantic Ocean is divided by the equator into the North Atlantic and South Atlantic Ocean. This has been a review of the oceans of the world. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.